These brand new firefighters training at the Gaines Park pool are literally learning the ropes. One, two. It's all part of working with the dive team to rescue those who wound up in ponds, canals, or the ocean during car and plane crashes or other mishaps. So now you know where your, your backup diver needs to go, right? Divers are often searching water that's so murky they can't see a thing, including the victims they're trying to save, plus debris, snakes, even alligators. That's why firefighters on the surface have to keep track of them and guide them using ropes. And all I'm doing is I'm watching him. So by having a line tender, it keeps that diver in check and it creates a pattern that is going to give us a better success rate to try to find the victim. Do I respond to his four tugs? No. It's something Tyler Mashke never thought he'd be doing a few years ago. Tyler had planned to become an accountant. Instead, he wound up doing this. Finding out that I could help people on their day of need means so much more than sitting behind a desk and, you know, doing accounting. Brendan Walsh doesn't think he's cut out for a desk job either. Let him go, let him go. Being an athlete my whole life, uh, I felt sitting behind a desk was just not for me. Like all of their training days, this one was strenuous and challenging. Trainees have to prove that they can hold their breath underwater for increasingly long periods of time, swim long distances, even dive in themselves to simulate rescuing someone. On this day, they're only pretending to rescue a baby doll, but soon they could be sent out on the real deal with real lives at stake. His line disconnected. What knot were you at when his, when, when his line disconnected? And their trainers point out, they have to be ready because their very first call could come on their very first day. I want to be the best I can be the first day I'm on, even though I have a lot to learn. Uh, I want to be prepared for that moment, God forbid, but that happens. This is Cheryl Kahn reporting for WPB-TV.